Welcome back to the next section of traffic training. In this section, we're gonna cover static configuration labs. We're gonna be hands-on with static configurations, and we're gonna walk through all three combinations of deploying traffic. So we're gonna deploy traffic with the file configuration, with command line arguments configuration, and finally with the environment variable configuration. If we head over to the GitHub repo, we can actually see github.com forward slash 56 K cloud forward slash traffic minus training. The link is also in the course notes down below. Uh, if we scroll down, you can see here's the section two we're working with configure traffic. Go ahead and click this link traffic static and dynamic configuration. And this takes us right to the lab. And in this lab, we are going to deploy traffic with the three configurations as mentioned. So the file, the command line, and the environment variable. But before we get started, be sure to run this step here, which is be sure to clean up if you have any traffics running currently. So go into the 01 traffic directory and do a Docker compose stop just to make sure you don't have anything else running. Because if you do have another traffic instance running, you'll run into a conflict. But I've already done this already and my environment is completely clean. So we're gonna run through static configuration using file configuration. So head over to my code editor and inside 02 configure traffic directory. So you'll have this locally in your machine. If you change into this directory, again, I'm using Visual Studio Code. Uh, you can see here is the file YAML and also the configuration YAML, which is traffic.yaml. So the Docker compose file YAML is our normal Docker compose file. If I just move this out of the way, it looks exactly the same as previous when we launched traffic for the first time. However, up here we had a command argument that is now gone. And what we have done instead, we're mounting the traffic YAML file into the default configuration directory, etc traffic traffic YAML. So when traffic starts, it always looks in this directory if there's any configuration files, if yes, then it reads these configuration files. Let's quickly look at the configuration files so you can see exactly what it looks like. And I've taken liberty of kind of commenting it out so you can see exactly what the different sections are doing. So the first section is the API. We're enabling the dashboard. So dashboard equals true. We're also enabling the Docker configuration back in. So provider, so it's our Docker provider. And we're telling it to watch Docker no, false. So if we were in swarm mode, we would actually enable that. So let's let's just change that to true. So we're going to watch Docker for any changes. Exposed by default, false. What this is, is anytime a container starts, do we expose that container automatically out to the outside world? True or false? Well, for demo purposes, we'll make it true. And then swarm mode, true. So we're going to use swarm mode. And finally, down here, we have traffic logging. So log level is info. So you can see it's very easy to read the YAML file, the configuration file. And again, the, the file configuration, the Docker Compose file is just reading this and uh, mapping it to the Etsy traffic directory. So what we're gonna do, here is my command line. And again, here's my Docker Compose file YAML. And all I'm gonna do is gonna do a Docker Compose uh, compose minus F and we're going to do file dot YAML and we are going to do up minus D. So what this is doing is Docker compose normal command minus F tells it which file we want to use and we're going to tell it to go up and minus D runs it in the background. So go ahead and run that and there you go. We are now running the Docker compose file and if you want, let's do logs. Then we can see exactly what's happening with our deployment. And now we can see the first line right here is configura configuration loaded from file at C traffic YAML. So again, all we had to do is mount the file into the traffic container and traffic handles everything else for us. So you can see it is then starting the provider Docker. It's using the log level. It's reading everything that we have in there by default. So quite simple. Now next, let's just quickly stop this file, stop this uh, file um, YAML, and we're gonna run the same thing again now for the command line. So let's head back to our editor and let's review the command line. So here's our Docker Compose command line YAML. So this is option two. 
And again, it's the same Docker compose file, but now I've added again the command back and it's the same thing as again, API secure true, providers Docker and log level is info. So essentially the same thing we saw in the YAML file is the same we see in the command line. And now we're gonna head back to our command prompt. And now again, it's the same thing. It's docker-compose.cli.yaml. And we're gonna run this. I'm just gonna cheat a little bit and do autocomplete. And we're gonna do up minus D. So docker compose minus F. This time we're using the .cli YAML up minus D. So we're gonna execute traffic with the command line arguments. There you go, it is now running. So let's go back and check our logs again. And the logs say configuration loaded from flags, just as expected. So we were able to launch traffic with the command line arguments just as before. Okay, let's shut this down. And the next section, we're actually going to start it with environment variables. All right, I stopped it. Let's head back to our Visual Studio code. And now we're gonna look at docker minus compose inf.yaml. So let's open that up. And here you go. So the compose file is again, relatively the same, but the, the section that changes environment. And now we're passing environment variables instead of command line arguments. So these three right here. Now, what is great is you can automate this. So you can actually put a, a variable here and actually pass this in from your CICD pipeline. So you can customize this and automate how it's deployed for future deployments. This is really handy when you want to start looking into automation. And I recommend environment variables because this is so much easier than the, uh, the command line or the file to use. So it's just one file you have to update and you just pass the variables in and you can automate the entire deployment. Anyway, that's the Docker Compose inf YAML. So let's head back to our command prompt. I'm gonna clean up here. Now, again, our file is docker compose inf.yaml and we're gonna do, again, we're gonna do the cheating way. We're gonna do autocomplete and we're gonna go up minus D. And so it's again, docker compose minus F. We're telling it to use the inf YAML up minus D. Go ahead and execute that. And let's check the logs again to see if it's actually working. All right, configuration, configuration loaded from environment variables. So we were successfully able to launch traffic with all three configurations, both from a file, uh, command line arguments, as well as environment variables using the same exact compose file, just changing it accordingly to the different uh, static configuration. Again, if I can really reiterate here, you can only use one of these configurations. So you can only use command line or environment variables or the file. So don't mix and match, choose one, choose wisely. Um, if I was to prefer one, I would say environment variables because you can extend this into automation at a laser phase and it's super easy to read. So that's all for this section and join me in the next section.